deathly ill. I don't look cute. We're not looking cute. This isn't this isn't a cute look. So let's get ready. You guys can get ready with me, and I'll show you number one how to not look like a cute troll. Number two. Uh, this is what I do pretty much every day, and this is how I get ready every single day. So pretty much every single morning of my life, I wake up and I walk to Phil's. So Phil's, if you're watching this, I don't think you need help with anything because you're doing fine. But sponsor me. <laughs> I am really, really sick, and I haven't been this sick in a while. It's honestly the worst thing ever. This is the first day I've really been able to stand up and move around and Phil's is just honestly like the best place in the world because I walked in to Phil's. The guy was taking my order and I walked away and I turned around he was making my coffee head banging like this to What's my age again? What's my age again? like and not that anybody cares. Honestly, nobody probably cares. Like, at all. I get a large canopy of heaven every single morning. I walk there every single morning. So back to this, get ready with me. So in front of me, you can't see, but I have everything that I use in the morning. Like I said, I pretty much wear my hair to bun every single day and I have these little baby antennas. Um, I use this Kevin Murphy. Yes, it's so, ah, uh, that's so pleasing. I spray this in my hair and it makes it just extra shiny. I start off my makeup routine by putting vitamin C serum on my face. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hi, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Not healthy, but so good. Mm. Because I'm sick and haven't been sleeping, my eyes are very red. This is like old fashioned visine up in those eye holes. Uh. And I have a really, really fucked up um, right eye. It's just not working, you know? You know when that happens when your eye just like doesn't work? Yeah, so my eye hasn't been working. Now I have to wear a very, very strong contact lens. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I feel like my contact lens makes me a little more blind. I'm just not used to it yet. Like, it's so much. Ugh. All right, moving on to actually getting ready. <laughs> Guys, sometimes I just can't be a comedian, you know? Due to lack of sleep and being ill, I am red around my nose from blowing my nose over and over again, and I have dark circles underneath my eyes. So I have this very amazing stick concealer. Dot around those areas. And I take this Glossier tinted moisturizer. It's like super thin, easy to apply. Just dab it out. Dab, 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 dab. Make it look like you aren't not alive anymore like not dying i have this amazing eyebrow brush so from the time i was a fetus to the time i was 17 18 i had absolutely no eyebrows they were pretty much non-existent not visible which was a problem for me because i spent so long filling them in every single day which was awful so i went and got my eyebrows microbladed and it's honestly changed my life because it saves 20 minutes out of my days every single day. I got my eyebrows done in Utah here. Um, she's amazing and she does brows for everybody and anybody if you guys want to hit her up. I trusted her and she did a fantastic job and she listened to me and I've had no problems with it so would highly recommend. A Morphe powder palette, medium to lightest color. There I go. Honestly, guys, you know. The flower in my planter died, and so if I can't even take care of plants, how am I supposed to take care of myself? How am I, how am I, how am I supposed to take care of anything if I can't take care of a flower? Another big reason I wanted to do this video is because a while ago I did a video and I basically asked you guys to give me like another topic to top on, give me another topic to kind of touch on that I could talk to you guys about that you wanted me to give my opinion on. And someone asked me to talk about anxiety because I had talked about how I have struggled with anxiety and um, depression and 
I haven't really talked that much about it. I've just briefly mentioned it. I'm not really gonna go into depth on the things that I struggled with or the, you know, the personal stories. But I want to talk to you guys about how I've dealt with it and how I've overcame situations that I've been in where I've really, really suffered with anxiety and things that I've done to improve the situations that I'm struggling in. Um, Cause you can't really get rid of anxiety. Like it's not something that you choose to have. That's kind of what I want to talk about because honestly, there's not much that I've found that like actually gets rid of it. Like you just kind of have to learn how to live with it. For me, I have social anxiety quite frequently now for some reason, I don't know why. I've kind of always had social anxiety growing up, you know, all through high school. I, I mean, I was the shyest kid ever. You could not get me to talk in front of a class all through middle school, all through high school. I was, I got excused from giving public speeches because like my knees would start shaking and my voice would start shaking and I would start to like shut down when I got into a public like speech setting and I, I couldn't even talk. I would like freeze up. I really made a conscious effort when I got into high school. I was like, okay, like don't be this way. I like really tried hard. I went to parties when I didn't want to and I started like forcing myself to be social and it, you know, once I got the ball rolling, it became a lot easier and I kind of learned how to be social like if that anxiety was still there but I kind of just like was feeling that way while these things were happening but once I did it x amount of times I kind of got myself out of it like forced myself to just get out and just do it but like all growing up I just had I had really bad social anxiety and I got over it by kind of just forcing myself to be in situations that made me uncomfortable and I got used to it so I basically just got used to being social and it's not the worst thing ever but honestly like now i think the reason it's so bad right now like i just like intimate settings and a lot of what i do like just in the industry like there's a lot of people are just always like especially in la there's something going on every single night there's so much to do here anytime i go anywhere to hang out with anybody here it's never like let's just you and me and like two other people hang out like it's always like a party or like a huge like event and it's never that intimate or like close with like a couple people where you're like actually having conversations i'm definitely that fucking person that everybody hates it's like yeah like let's go on a hike or like let's go to the beach and everyone's like fuck you i don't want to go on a hike i don't want to go to the beach because i'm always like that person that hates that but like i am that person so i can't really like fight it i feel like i have <laughs> been on youtube for a very long time i started uploading videos when i was 10 years old so it's been quite the journey but i kind of stopped watching these past couple years so it's been cool to go back on and see like the evolution of youtube um sorry i got super sidetracked i'm gonna start talking about anxiety again if i could give you in summary like the top ways i deal with it in the moment literally the other day i went to an event and when i was getting out of the car my knees started shaking and my voice started shaking and somebody actually asked me if I was cold. I don't know, like I was actually shaking and I was like, okay, how am I gonna deal with this right now? Like I tried to like, just take like normal breaths, you know, and I know that once I get inside, everything's gonna be okay. Like it's just like this prior to, it's like this initial kind of like fear, I guess, because I always, it's always in my head. Like once I step inside the place, it completely goes away. Cause it's not like anything that I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, it's so many people and so much going on. And I think I like build it up in my head. And then once I get in there, everything is totally fine. Like breathing, knowing that everything's gonna be okay once I get inside and you know talking to the people that i'm with i tend to spend a lot of time in my own head where i can sit there and like just think about things for way too long and i think that that is like kind of a rabbit hole that i try not to jump down too frequently because when i'm out with people and trying to have fun with friends like i try not to get in my own head like i try to focus on other people and ask them about them like how their day is going and the things that they're doing and i don't know focusing on others and like trying to help others makes me really happy so I try to do that instead of think about myself because sometimes it doesn't always, I don't always need to be thinking about myself because that is, that's stupid. <laughs> Anyways, back to the makeup. Get a little bronzer, contour the nose a little bit. And then I take that same color and I like to use it as my eyeshadow. That's pretty much what I do every single day, but I just get a lot more in the brush afterwards. And I just do the crease in my like chocolate every time i put it on my boyfriend is like what is on your face he tries to like lick my face it's ridiculous but it really does it smells amazing Ooh, what this lighting's nice oh shit okay am i just gonna be in this light now it's fine okay 
yeah, whenever I see girls like taking pictures of this lighting, I'm like, fuck, I need that lighting. I want that lighting. Only get it if you're staring directly at the sun. Like, your eyes need to be burning out of your skull, like at the sun, you know, like really just like in the sun. <laughs> like a lot, like a lot of sun. So this is the best um, mascara in the world, by the way. I officially deem it the best mascara in the world. I've used this mascara for four years. Yes. The Juicy palette, it's fantabulous and glamorous and extra shiny. And some of the shimmer. It's very not fancy. Sheer shimmer, like there's not really any color to it. It's like just sparkles. Juicy. It's an eye topper, but I use it on my cheeks as my highlighter. some suckers up. You have a brushed brow. I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes. Brown color on the color pop. And I'm going under my eyes with it. Ooh! All right, going in for the kill with this second layer of mascara. You really gotta wiggle. Wiggle that brush. Make sure you get all the lashes. Do the bottom layer of lashes. Ooh! This is really good lighting. Look at this. Oh, I like don't like putting on makeup until I do this. <laughs> this is what I usually use. It is Meet Matt Hughes Long Lasting. Liquid lipstick. Oh. I feel like I, this is how like every Disney princess's lips were. Like the top one was hella dark. What like Disney princess did you always want to be? Or like Disney character in general? I always wanted to be the Little Mermaid. I don't know why, because I just thought it would be sick to swim underwater. I really thought the Jasmine was cute from Aladdin. And I know that I'm like white and blonde, so I don't really fit either of those, but. Oh, actually, I lied. I lied about all of that. My favorite princess growing up was Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. Bitch, that's the lip. Yeah, that's my look, and I'm glad you guys got to get ready with me. Sorry it was so fucking long, but yeah, that's what's up. I love you guys, and I am gonna go do the rest of my day. Probably edit this video now, but peace.